morning. We, well, before we get into the six year business, I just want to give you guys a heads up. We will be having a carry carving sale on our website, November 19th at 1 PM. And this will be the final sale before the end of the year. So any kind of holiday gift giving you have in mind, that would be the last time to get anything. Um, now they are for sale right now over on our Patreon page. They always get first crack at them. So, um, if you want to early look at them, join us over on Patreon and I will drop links below for you to check out. I'm also going to shamelessly plug our new book. <laughs> Uh, cause I have to now, right? It's the rules. You, you write a book, you have to plug it. Um, the brave adventures of the green bean queen. This is still my draft version. Um, so this also will make great gift giving. So you can, You're get, a, good at this. You can get a signed <laughs> copy on our website. It, it will be Irene and pistol signed. Um, and look at, look at the illustrations are so cute. I can't show you all of it. Right. Um, and it's also available on Amazon on Kindle and regular paperback. So, um, again, I'll post links to that below and I wanted to quickly update you on the green bean queen. Um, her, her test results on the tumor came back negative for cancer. So huge relief. Wanted to share that good news with you guys. And we have this little shirt on her because her incision um, she's on antibiotics and antibiotic ointment. It's a, it's a big, it's a big, big. They took a bunch of stuff out of there. Yeah. So that's slowly healing, but looking good. Um, she still has stitches in. We haven't gotten those taken out yet because it still is in the healing process, but she gets a clean bill of health and she's on new supplements for her arthritis. <laughs> Sorry. And that actually is looking a lot better. It's hard cause she's supposed to be like on bed rest with her incision, but she's feeling better because her arthritis is not hurting so much. So yep, we've like really been having, again. yeah, we're super happy. So because of the pistol and the surgery, we just been chilling in central Florida for a while, not doing much other than just, yeah. cause we got to keep an eye on her. We can't go anywhere. And so I've been carving a lot of spoons. So we'll, there'll be more spoons than I've ever listed for sale before this time. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we realized that it's November and six years ago in November, we took off in a van on a road trip. For the, yeah, six years ago, we left on a road trip. Yeah. <laughs> and here we I are. I expected three months. Yeah, that was our plan. So originally we had a condo in Newport, Oregon and a condo in Las Vegas out by Red Rock. And we thought we bought the van thinking we would just go back and forth. Real snowbirds. Yeah, snowbird stuff. We both retired. Um, and that was the intent. So we left Las Vegas six years ago with three months in mind and no destination. <laughs> we, I, we didn't know. I, don't, I think van life wasn't much of a big thing six years ago. Maybe it was starting, but we... We never watched YouTube videos. We didn't know anything about real van life stuff. We don't like, we didn't know anything about our van. We just bought a road truck yeah. and took off and bumbled along and and made countless mistakes. And we didn't know anything about YouTube really. We knew I used it to f fix some things. Our oldest son was in the kind of the YouTube. Are you a hot girl? She is. She has to keep the shirt on. <laughs> Our oldest son is kind of in the YouTube business, and so we thought, let's right from the beginning just capture what we do, and with no real intention of like, I mean, I don't think we had a subscribe button on it for like a yeah, year. Yeah, we're still not really. Yeah, we don't. We're really, slow to figure things out, and that's okay. We don't really Everything at my own pace. <laughs> yeah. So before we started making YouTube videos, she, she's never watched YouTube videos. She doesn't watch any of the YouTube videos ever. She doesn't follow anybody. Um, she just, before we started making videos, she watched some YouTube videos on how to make YouTube videos, yeah. bought a GoPro and started filming. And that's just, it's been awesome because we, the whole intent is to be able to look back over the years and have all these, I mean, we've done so many things. <laughs> Someone please touch me. She says, you are <laughs> needy. She's needy. Sorry, um, <clears throat> to document it. And yeah. I, I, I'm so thankful we did it and I'd highly recommend it, whether you want to share it publicly or not. Um, there's been advantages to sharing it publicly yeah. because 
we've met so many people because of the YouTube channel and have so many great friends all over the U.S. and Canada. That, okay, let's touch on that a second. I know we say this every time, but that's been the biggest surprise, happy surprise about um, traveling and also doing the <clears throat> YouTube channel is the people we have met. Totally unexpected. <clears throat> um, neither one of us are that outgoing, believe it or not, in person. Uh, <laughs> so meeting new people is harder for us because we don't really seek that out on our own. Um, yeah, the first time someone contacted us and said, hey, we see you're in the same area we are. I'd love to meet you. We were like both freaked out. Strangers. Yeah. They want to meet us. Um, that was um, Marina Bob. Yeah. Hi guys. Still good friends. Great yeah. friends. I met with them many times. But because we had a great experience when we met them, we realized that when someone else reached out, um, if we would have said no, I mean, you're missing an opportunity. Missed opportunities for sure. And we've met, I mean, countless people and not just from the channel, but just in whether the lifestyle from campgrounds mm -hmm. or boondocking somewhere. And we have so many friends in so many places and we've never had a bad experience. No. Never. We've never met like, oh God, this was a bad idea. We've met, yeah. We've expanded our <laughs> Vagabond family being yeah. on the road for sure. So that's one of the highlights of this lifestyle for me is the people we have met. Um, one thing I have learned is, I think we both have talked about this, but, um, things are definitely going to go wrong and this is life in general, but for sure in an RV, um, things are just going to go wrong. So how you deal with that determines how happy you will be on the road. Yeah. And we help each other because, you know, we both go through times where like, uh oh, this is getting stressful or, yeah. and then... I don't know, we're a good team. And I think that's probably... That's key. That's pretty key. If you're gonna live in a, I don't know, square foot a 20 foot van is, but it's not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, know. I mean, it is a small <laughs> space, so you definitely have to be compatible um, yeah. because it, any kind of annoyance or issue you might have a little bit with the other person, everything is amplified. So, we don't have that problem though. We don't. We really have never had. We really don't. We don't. We're like, we're best friends. But I do know if, if something slightly annoyed you in a large house, it would a hundred times be magnified in a small living space. Yeah. Because also, there's nowhere to get away, especially if it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Which if it's raining, we usually leave. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's the thing is, I mean, everything, like when you're choosing what type of RV to go travel on full time or part time, whatever, it, 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 it it's so much based on your lifestyle. We like to be outside. We want to be outside all the time. We want to go hiking, we want to go biking, we want to go whatever, kayaking. I can see the appeal of a, of a bigger RV and maybe someday we would do that. It's not in my list right now, but if I was going to go somewhere and stay for a while, that would be fine. Mm -hmm. But for us, we like to sometimes, well, sometimes for months we move every day. And it's easy yeah. because we pull up and park, we can stay anywhere. We want to go into a town. We can park on a side street. We can be spontaneous. We, we don't. I don't think for the first two years on the road, we made a single campground reservation. No, and I don't think we stayed more than one night. No. In places. No, that that first three months when we went went south to Florida and back up to Oregon, we never. I think we spent two nights at our friend's house in Florida that we visited. Mm -hmm. Other than that, one night for three months, and we averaged 60 miles a day. Yeah. And it was an amazing experience. It mm -hmm. was an eye-opening thing, because when you're working, you get a vacation, you pack up your stuff, and you're in a rush to get some place so you can be there for your 10 days or whatever it is. It, it became like we, there was no hurry. We were, Yeah. there was no destination. We were literally just Driving and driving and like, oh, let's see. stay here and and we're, we're we're back roads kind of small town people we avoid the cities and the freeways when we can so which is why I really don't think a, a big vehicle at this point in time would suit us because we do love the ability to just pick up and go with no reservations the more remote back road areas we can find the better yeah I love the just 
parking in a small town in the middle of nowhere and yeah. walking around, chat with people, go to a local cafe. That's that's that, how you really get to know <laughs> America and you know yeah. whatever region you're in. That's been super fun. One thing that I love about living this way is we have everything we need with us at any point in time. I think that's been something that we got so used to that the thought of um, going somewhere in a car, leaving your house to go do something mm -hmm. for a day, it's like... You have to plan ahead. You, you do that naturally because that's what you've always done. That's what we always did. But now we don't ever think about that. We are our food is with us. Our clothes is with us. Mm -hmm. Weather change doesn't matter. Got our Everything. coat. Got too hot. That's okay. Grab a tank top. Oh, got to go to the bathroom. Use the ba Oh, hungry. You got your fridge. Yeah. Okay. We always, Irene always says she'll never own a car again that she can't go pee in. So that'd be, I'd be hard pressed. Yeah. You go to the grocery store. So oh, I got to use the bathroom. Yeah. So it, it is, um, but it's, I mean, there, there's so many amazing things about it. Six, six years in a van. I mean, when I say it out loud, it's like, six years we've been in the van this is our second van for those that yeah. don't follow us but just it doesn't seem like that it's just we've just been doing things and having adventures and i mean we've crossed the continent 13 or 14 times east west and been up and down both coasts yeah. countless times we've crossed canada a couple times we've been in every state in the lower 48 many times most of them um, most. i'm itching to see something new yeah, so I guess after six years in the van, we've done so many things. Um, we're not the type of people that, well, this is our lot in life, or this is what we're doing, so we're going to keep doing this. It's like, hey, let's do something different. We're always, you know, and that's how we find some of these places we sit. It's like, what's down this road? I want to see. So kind of our life is that way. What's, what's something new we can experience? Oh, we haven't tried this. Let's try that. Big announcements coming soon. Yeah. You definitely want to stay tuned. We're going to do some different things, and I guess we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. We're, we're still, we're still works, sorting so. that out. Um, six years, baby. Six years. <laughs> I want to say thank you to you all. You feel like family to us. Some of you have been with us the, the whole comments. six years. Yes. And we, many and actually there's so many people that i mean we love the comments so if those i mean youtube you know to get your channel go if you're not liking and comment the people liking the videos and commenting um it doesn't it helps the channel a lot when you do that so yeah. we appreciate those that do that but aside from that we feel like we get to know people that mm -hmm. from all over the world that, that, that comment and we try to comment and reply back to everyone because we it's I don't know. We like it. <laughs> yeah, we we just we we've learned so much about other people, and I don't know. That's that's been amazing. So thank you to all the people that that follow and comment and that sort of thing. It's been amazing. Yeah. You're getting teary eyed. No, I'm not. You sure? Okay. She gets emotional sometimes. <laughs> just sometimes. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> yeah. So thank you and. Cheers to the next six years, baby. Let me get my coffee. Who knows what it's going to be like. How long have they had these coffee cups? Pretty much the whole time. Six years. We should wash them. You don't wash yours? Hmm. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. For behind the scenes footage, extra content, and all our videos early release and ad free, check out our Patreon page. And check out our blog on our website, carryonvagabond.com. Thanks again, and carry, carry on. on.